Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm gonna to show you how I made this snowman catch-all tray here on the Stepcraft M1000 CNC. We do have plans available for this project on our website, so be sure to check those out. The link is down below in the description. Without further ado, let me show you how we made it. Starting on a new project to make a snowman catch-all tray on the Stepcraft M1000 CNC. First, I'm gonna use the 332nd inch point roundover bit to go through and add a roundover to the inside and outside profile of the tray. Then I'll drop that off and pick up the 46202-K quarter inch down cut bit. I have aura mask on this piece just to show the difference while we're cutting. Uh, it's a lot easier to see what's actually happening on the CNZ when there's a bit of contrast there. So I'm not actually painting anything here but it's there just to show you the contrast. We do have the plans available for this project on our website, so be sure to check those out there if you wanna make this for yourself. So you can see with a down cut bit, even though we're not using the ore mask, we get a nice clean cut and you can see all of the nice chips that are left. We want chips, not sawdust. That just means that we have our speeds and feeds dialed in for the bit. If you love this type of content, be sure to subscribe to our channel and go ahead and hit that bell so that you'll be notified on all of the new videos when they're released. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Tools Today. So now we switched out for the 46315-K quarter inch upcut bit. And you can see with that aura mask, it's tearing it out really bad. And that's because the upcut action of the bit tears out that aura mask, leaving a unclean surface. So if you're working with aura mask, you either want to use sharp V bits or a down cut bit as that will leave the cleanest finish possible. But here, since we have that round over, it's not tearing out the wood at all and provides better chip evacuation. We can get that all pulled off the CNC, take it over to the workbench and use the fine multi-master to go ahead and cut through all of those tabs. And we have our tray ready to go. So now we can move over to the Jessam router table using the MR0110 mini roundover bit. This bit has a tiny 3 16 inch diameter ball bearing, which allows it to fit into the tight radiuses that were left by the quarter inch bit. Not a lot of bits are able to fit in there, but with that tiny bearing, it's able to get into all of those nooks and crannies and just kind of round over that bottom edge for a nice smooth look. So now that that is done, we can get the inside all sanded. There are times where you're able to use a raster tool path going with the grain to eliminate any sanding. But with this one, it would have taken over 20 minutes, so I opted for sanding it. So I'm using the Rikon 31-200 mini two inch sander. This is an orbital sander, and that two inch head is able to get into all of the really tight areas of the tray, and it does so really nicely. This would take a long time doing hand sanding, but it just took over two minutes with some 240 grit sandpaper, and we're left with a really nice smooth finish. It'll definitely save a ton of time. You can see just how nice that finish looks here. So now that that is done, we can get it all finished. Um, for that, I'm gonna be using some walrus oil furniture butter. This is a really nice finish. We're just going to wipe it all on, get it all over the piece of wood, and then we'll let that sit for 24 hours, come back the next day, and then we're able to get that all buffed off. The really nice thing with the Rikon sander as well is that it comes with a buffing pad, so it'll help get the excess finish out of some of those tighter areas as well. So it's definitely a really nice accessory to use with it and speeds up that process as well. I love the way that this tray came out. Be sure to check out those plans if you wanna make it for yourself. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I'll let the kids do a sign off. Have a great day, everybody. Hey, Katie, did yeah. you see what we got? Yeah. We got a new tray. What's that one, Em? A snowman. Do you like it? Yeah. All right. Uh-oh. I'm gonna take one candy Maybe. first. You're gonna take one candy? Got this one joining the party. Oh no, he sees the candy. Oh no. Hey Eli, what are you doing? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye. Eli, you don't like candy, do you? <laughs> you like candy? No way. You say bye bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you love this type of content, be sure to subscribe right over here. And for more great videos, click right over here.